Hi guys, Nano here. And I might have actually said it wrong, Venice Junction and stuff like that. Uh, but today, the day I'm probably going, no, a day before I'll upload this video, there was another video supposed to come, but they'll come. It will come together with the Auto Warfare video, talking about the new update. Spectre Relay, not Spectres of the Relay, as I said into the first video, but hell, I'm gonna post it anyway. And I said I should try to see what's with this junction stuff, because I don't know what I've seen. I've done all I need for Mars Junction, so I said I'll go, so let's see what's this. Sorry if you hear any passing cars. The window to my room is open. Okay, that was creepy. I defeated 100 frontier grenier enemies. I sabotaged three toxin injectors. Completed an alert and completed a quest once awake. Oh, what is that? Frost Spectre? Yeah, take the vehicle. I don't have the patience for it. So, that was it? Was I just supposed to take him down? Okay, what now? Activate Junction. Let's see. Blueprint, void relic segment. Oh, so that's how I get it. So yeah, for you guys. Is that a, a void relic segment? I don't know. Otis hasn't seen one of those in well, forever. Okay, so if you don't know, I actually tried to do something in the first video, trying to see what's with the void relic thing back there at the ship. In the first video that I tried, that I didn't upload. Well, now I know it's. For this thing. So if you want to get this stuff, void relics. What a baffling concept. Ordis will try to understand void relics again. They say the contents of a relic are simultaneously this thing or this thing or this thing, but also that thing, and certainly never just one thing. That is until until it's exposed to a void fissure. And at that point, all the possibilities collapse, each one falling away until the relic cracks open and exposes one singular thing. Then, against all tenets of logic, that thing becomes the only thing the relic ever contained. <sighs> what a load of... Ordis prefers known quantities. Thank you very much. I didn't understand anything from what he said. So here I'm showing the relics, and oh wait, what? So I see all this new stuff with the eras, and yeah, this is probably uh, this is probably just simple meso, uh, lith, meso, neo, and axi. So. This was supposed to be the tower 1, this one tower 2, this one tower 3, and this one tower 4. Okay, now let's see. Let's say this was exterminate, sabotage. No, everywhere is the same. Well, yeah. Void traces can actually open one of these things. If I... I should probably gather more traces just to make sure. Operator, did you hear that? It said... Cosmic background radiation is a riot! Shut up. Okay, so I think this thing with the void traces, probably this is going to help you boost your chance of. Yep, it's 
making everything equal you can get is the same uh, chance for getting Vogan Prime Chassis, Volt Prime Neuro Optics, Forma, Carrier Prime, Dual Camera Prime Blueprint, Automata Prime Systems. Okay. So yeah, this is how I get this thing from doing the Mars Junction. Was it the Mars Junction? Yes, it was the Mars Junction. And you can go to it again. Go only once. And I did get the quest for the Arc Wing. I got the quest. No, I got the blueprint for Fragger. And what more? There's another Furious? Oh no, the Void Relic segment. Okay. So I think the next thing I'll do is Venus Junction. Do I still have to defeat three Eximus enemies on Earth? And what better place to get Eximus enemies on Earth than on. Tikal, excavation infestation. Because of time, they're going to spawn uh, Eximus units. So I think that's about it for this one. That was a short video. Thank you guys for watching. See you into the next one.